Did you know that if you transfer your crypto to Celsius, you could be earning 18.63% APY in minutes? Pay your loan interest with Celsius to save up to 25% on loan repayments. No, I didn't sell out. No, I'm not sponsored. I'm laughing at this platform that has suspended withdrawals for many of its users. So you could deposit crypto on this platform and earn interest, but you're not able to withdraw it. It makes me so sad when I see shit like this, where you have people that are getting really, really mad going, you know, do you know even one person that has a problem with drawing from Celsius? Why spread F FUD and misinformation? If you're paid for this, and let everybody know you're picking sides. Otherwise, our job is to fight traditional finance together. And then the next day, from the very platform itself that suspended withdrawals, Celsius Network is pausing all withdrawals. Snap and transfers between accounts acting in the interest of our community is our top priority. Our operations will continue, and we will continue to share more information with the community, a.k.a. you're all fucked. There are many things that I want to go over in this video because on my AMAs, many people have asked what I think of a lot of what's going on with crypto right now, and I've been calling it a consensual Ponzi scheme. So the first thing that I want to discuss, if somebody in a virtually 0% interest rate environment says that we are going to be able to give you 18% interest, be very very skeptical. At the height of the pandemic, when, uh, when oil was going negative, ExxonMobil was paying a dividend of 10%. That was when the people thought that oil was going to be, oil companies were just going to be going out of business. Geo and CoreCivic, private prison companies that were offering d dividends of like anywhere from about 8 to 12%, wound up getting rid of their dividend entirely because they needed to pay off debt and they weren't making as much money as they needed to be making to do that. There's not a lot of places in the world where you can get a guaranteed 18% interest rate. If you don't understand it, like truly innately understand, not just what it is you're investing in, but how it makes the money that it's going to use to pay back these claims that they're making, be very, very cynical and be very, very skeptical before you put money in it. Very few people seem to actually understand most of what is going on. They just see that other people are throwing money into it and they made money in it, so I'm going to throw in money too. And the problem that I've had and the reason that I've called it a consensual Ponzi scheme is just the way that I see people talk about it. Like, even multi-billionaires. Let's just take Michael Saylor, for instance. You know, you take this tweet over here. This is the pinned tweet on Michael Saylor's Twitter. First, he has this ridiculous garbage that I think 10 or 30 years from now we're all going to be laughing at the people that were doing this shit with their eyeballs for them. The second thing is the pinned tweet. Bitcoin is a swarm of cyber hornets serving the goddess of wisdom, feeding on the fire of truth, exponentially growing ever smarter, faster, and stronger behind a wall of encrypted energy. Does this sound like an individual that is knowledgeable, that's describing you know, the technical wherewithal as to why it is that something is able to make you money or is able to pay you an interest rate or is going to change the world? Or does this just sound like some dude that did too much DMT that somebody should have taken his laptop away? It sounds like the latter. This all seems like some ridiculous cult. And, uh, you know, a lot of it really does seem like you get to experience 1920s banking, except with computers. Like the bank runs, where you have instances of the transaction fees and prices going up when a lot of people are trying to get out of a coin all at once. Similar to when if you, you got to either wait in line with the plebs, or if you wanted to bribe somebody, you could get to the front of the line, so you'd actually be able to withdraw your money before the bank went bust. And a lot of people liked the fact that this is a completely unregulated way to exchange money, and I completely understand and respect why they like that. The thing is, you need to understand what you're getting along with that, which is your money could be gone like poof. You want to put it in an ex exchange instead of keep it in your wallet? Poof. And this is something that I really wish more people understood. If somebody says, I can give you a guaranteed 18% interest rate, there's a very high chance that you are going to get fucked. Very, very high chance. I'm, again, this is not investment advice. I'm not a financial services professional. This is just common fucking sense. That money has to come from somewhere. And if they're not able to get that money, what they're most likely going to do, in my opinion, is take yours. Be very, very, very fucking careful when dealing with any of these platforms or any of these people. They're not always legitimate. They're not always honest. And again, a lot of what you're listening to, a lot of it is hype. It's coming out of people that are paid to promote stupid shit. It's, pay, it's coming from people that are paid to, you know, tr tr trying to get their bag off of you giving your money to something or buying some stupid shit that you probably have no business buying. I mean, God, like, I'm not even going to remotely get into any of the supplement controversies over the past four years. But it's well documented how much garbage has been promoted on that channel for money that you're likely never going to see. But the, there's just so much crap, so many scams in this community. A lot of this could be tempered with just a little bit of healthy skepticism, a small bit of healthy skepticism. Don't put money into something that you don't innately understand 
Just because somebody that has more money than you or has accomplished more than you is talking like a crackhead, like this person over here. Bitcoin is a swarm of cyber hornets serving the goddess of wisdom, feeding on the fire of truth, expedently growing every... That's a pile of bullshit. That's literally a pile of bullshit. It means nothing. It's just supposed to sound cool. And you will wind up getting massively fucked if you take advice from these people. In my opinion, there are some legitimate, honest uses for cryptocurrency for certain people. But let's be real. A lot of people are getting into it because they see something going up, a bunch of people are excited about that thing going up, and they want to get in on it too without really understanding all the risks and without understanding how any of this works. Please try to understand how it all works before you put your money into it. That's all I ask. That's it for today. And as always, I hope you learned something. I'll see you all in the next video. Bye now.